Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about carrying a full-size uh, gun in a shoulder holster, okay, uh, as a secondary gun, okay? So this is my regular everyday carry gun, a G43, small, compact, uh, very comfortable to carry, okay? Uh, over here, I've got a SIG uh, 2022 that I'm carrying in a in a craft holsters, um, shoulder holster, really nice uh, uh, leather holster. It's got really fine craftsmanship. It's got two extra magazine holders on this side, which is really important because this acts as a counterweight to the gun. Because if I didn't have the extra magazines on this side, the, this thing would be pulling to the left side. Because the magazines are here, it's balanced on that side. So what I want to talk about today is uh, in what in what circumstances, right, would you want to uh, be carrying like this, okay? So this is really for a situation where I would like to have an AR-15 with me, all right? Uh, maybe because there's riots going on in town, right? Some, some, some crazy stuff going on. But here's the thing. Uh, here's the situation. I've got to get to the store because I need baby formula, right? I gotta get some baby formula for the child in my house. Um, and here's the thing, I, I don't wanna go into the store holding an AR-15 because uh, the guy behind the counter might see me, he might get scared, and he might run out the back, okay? Uh, in which case, by him getting scared and leaving, that prevents me from buying the thing that I need to buy, all right? You know, so now what am I gonna do? You know, am I going to steal it? Now they got me on camera doing the right stealing. You know, so, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, take the baby formula and throw a $100 bill on the counter? Uh, you know, um, so, so you don't want to, you know, you can have a situation where you can have, you can be in a, in a high threat area, right? But you still don't want to, um, for whatever reason, you don't want to scare the people around. You know, you may want to keep the AR-15 in the car, right? Uh, but I may not want to go into the store holding one, okay? But by the same time, I don't want to go into the store with just a Glock 43, all right? Um, because there's stuff going on around town. I, might, I may want a bigger gun, okay? So that's the bigger gun over here. Now, the thing to be aware of, um, the, the, it, going to this gun is way faster than going to this gun, all right? This gun over here, what I gotta do is I gotta grab it, pull it. I gotta turn my body towards the direction I'm shooting at. So right now I'm shooting in that direction. Keep the gun pointed in that direction. Draw, come out, aim. Detock the gun, turn my body again back in that direction. Shoulder the gun. Put the snap on. Okay, now, with this style of a holster, leather holster, uh, the gun has to be either a double action, single action, um, or a uh, double action only. You can't use this with uh, just a striker fired because, you know, if the leather collapses, uh, it can activate the trigger. So for striker fired guns like this one over here, right, we use a Kydex holster, right? Uh, it has to be in a Kydex holster. But this one over here, because this is a, a leather holster, we have to use the um, uh, we have to use either double action, double action, single action. It would be I would be interested if somebody came up with a, with a design, uh, maybe for a hybrid design, where you can have the leather with a Kydex uh, trigger guard on the inside that you could actually use with let's say with a, with a Glock or something. Um, but anyway, so so this is a situation where it makes sense for me to have um, you know a a full size gun. In the, in the shoulder holster as a backup uh, to my to my to my normal sidearm. I would prefer to have an AR-15, but I can't have an AR-15, or it's just you know it's going to draw too much attention to me. I'm not going to uh, easily accomplish the goal that I'm trying to accomplish. So it makes a lot more sense to in that situation. I, I think to carry this way. Uh, so as you guys saw, it there's a lot more involved with going to the gun that's in this position, especially if you're a fat guy like me, right? Where you're trying to reach around, right? And doing a magazine change, whoa, that's, that's you know, the magazines are there, but getting to them is a little bit of work, okay? But the nice thing is, you've got a lot of firepower, right? You know, you've got three magazines, one in the gun, two over here, 
you know, you've got like a total of like 45 rounds, you know, at least, right? If you, depending on what you're carrying, um, you know. So you've got about 45 rounds on this shoulder rig as opposed to, let's say, the six that's in this gun, right? Seven with one in the chamber and then maybe another six in the extra magazine that I'm carrying, okay? Um, so the way I see this working out is, like, let's say there was a thread over there. I would go to my fast gun, okay? Get back in the holster, take some cover, all right? Look around. If I see threats now, now go to your big gun. Now get the, the, the big gun out because you got a lot more capacity here, right? Right, and now you can, oh shit, there's a guy. Go back to this thing. Right. And then again, if you want to decock, you got to turn your body to the target. Right, this is how you're going to practice it, right? Because you can't be throwing the gun all over the place, right? And, and reholster the gun that way. Now, what if you got to do a magazine change, right? I want to do a tactical reload now, right? Right? Threats over, I want to do a, fights over, I want to do a tactical reload, all right? Now, pull this out, get this magazine out, shove that in your pocket. I can't quite comfortably get here without using two hands. So now I gotta get this one out. Get this one to the gun. Keep the gun pointing in a safe direction. All right, so that's, that's, all, that's how our, uh, uh, you know, that's how you can change magazines, okay? So the, the magazines are there, but it's not a, a, uh, a quick, it's not a quick magazine change, okay? Uh, let's see how many rounds are in this one. I just got one more round in this one. Let me go back to this magazine here. I need to fill that one up on purpose. Let's get this one out. Put this one back in there. Put this one back where we got it before. Okay. Now we're gonna take this magazine, that I know there's one, there's one round here, one round in the chamber, All right? So let's go through this exercise again, right? All right, so there's my thing. I see a threat, All right? I'm not, I'm not gonna go to this gun because I know that it takes longer there. So I see a threat over there, go to this gun over here, right? Take some cover, okay? That one's back in the holster. Come back to this one now, get the big gun out, right? Oh shit, there's more bad guys coming. The shit, they're shooting at me, right? Gun's empty. All right, screw that. Get to this gun. Okay. Stand assess. All right, nobody around. All right, bad guys look like they're all down. Get this one in the holster now. Okay. And now I can worry about reloading this gun over here. All right, make sure there's nothing going on. Okay, now maybe I can reholster. It's important to reholster as fast as you can because when the cops do pull up, you don't want them to see you holding a gun, okay? Uh, so as soon as you determine that there's no immediate threat, you gotta get the gun back in the holster. You don't wanna be seen holding a gun after a whole bunch of people have just been shot. Maybe they deserve to be shot, right? Maybe they were trying to kill you, but people coming onto the scene, they don't know that, right? both police and other people, right? Because you might have other civilians with guns that don't know what happened, don't know that those are the riders. They might think that you're the rider, right? So that's a really important consideration. Uh, another reason why you want to be shooting from uh, both either cover or concealment. And it doesn't matter, that barrel is not going to stop any bullets, so that's just a piece of cover, right? But it makes it harder for people to see me. Not necessarily the bad guys, right? Maybe the bad guys know where I'm at. But the other people around that don't know what's going on, I don't want, if at all possible, I don't want people to see me uh, shooting at those guys, regardless of the fact that maybe I needed to be shooting at them because they were trying to kill me. Uh, I've had other people don't know that. So that's why I'd rather be shooting from concealment uh, if at all possible, okay? Uh, and then later on, when the cops arrive, all, we can all get sorted out, okay? Uh, so, couple of things for you guys to think about. I think that this is a very good possibility for a situation, right? Uh, I'll show you this one again. For a situation where you'd rather have an AR-15, right? But you can't because, again, you're trying to go someplace and you don't want to be, you know, you're trying to get someplace. You want to be 
you want to go get something or you need somebody to help you, and you're, you're worried that, hey, if they see you armed, they don't know exactly, they may not know you that well. Maybe they'll get scared and, they, and, you, and they'll run off and you don't want people running off that you need something from. Um, so this is a, a good concealable uh, possibility where you actually have a lot of firepower, right? You got, you know, 15 rounds here, another another 50, you got another 30 rounds here. You got some decent firepower, you know, um, in addition to your regular everyday carry. So, again, this is a Kraft Holsters uh, holster. This, this is my nicest holster. I, I like it. It's not cheap, but it's really nice. It's a really nice holster, really fine craftsmanship. Uh, I'll put a link below in case you guys want to check out uh, this holster. Uh, and the gun, the gun over here, that was the SIG 2022, uh, double action, single action. And then over here, I've got the Polymer 80 G43 that I built with the optic, okay? Uh, so drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think of, about this. You know, maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it. That's fine. However you feel about it, just let me know. Uh, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notification of the new videos I put up. I'll talk to you all soon. Hey, uh, something I wanted to add, a uh, question, the natural question is, why not just carry the bigger gun at the hip, right? Why not just get rid of this gun and put this gun in a in a hip holster and, you know, or a belt holster over here and have that? Well, first thing, you always, got, you always want to have two guns, right? Because any one gun can always jam um, in many circumstances, especially if you're in an awkward position where you're laying down something, uh, going to a second gun, might be faster um, you know, than trying to do a reload. Or for example, if my jacket's actually zippered up here, right? Getting to that five o'clock position back there uh, actually might take longer. It might just be faster for me to pull down my zipper a little bit and get to this gun. Um, but the, the, the main reason, right? Is because this gun here for me is just way too big to keep at the hip uh, and drive, okay? Uh, I mean, I can do it, but it is extremely uncomfortable. The seatbelt typically hits it when it's at my hip. Um, so it, it's a very uncomfortable gun for me to have at the hip if I'm sitting down inside of a car, uh, which is most likely, you know, what you're gonna be doing, right? You're gonna be going someplace. Um, I find, and especially with a big gun like this, if it's at the hip, now you're trying to get that out of a holster, that can also slow you down if you're inside of a car. Uh, so, so those are the those are the two reasons. I, I like to have, always want to have two guns, right? If you know that they're that you're in a high risk environment, you always want to have two guns. Usually, it's an AR-15 and your pistol as your backup. In this case, uh, we said that hey, the AR-15 is just not practical uh, to you know to to achieve our objective, right? Whether it be to go get some milk for the baby or whatever, it's just not practical because we're not going to accomplish our goal. Um, so we want to have two pistols, right? a you know ideally you have them in two different positions right uh and uh you know this is just a good option right no, this it doesn't have to i mean you can i guess you could always have one on this side one on that side uh but again you sitting down in the car seat it's still in the same position but having it here this is a good position for a driver right professional like drivers like bodyguard type guys that do driving they will usually have their their primary pistol here because from a from a sitting position position in the car you can get to this a lot, a lot faster, a lot easier. Okay, um, so so I think it's a good idea to have two guns in two different positions, and the big gun is just for me is very awkward and uncomfortable at the hip. So they're, they're my thoughts on that. Uh, if you have a different opinion, by all means, let me know. Or if you have a different experience, or if you a particular holster that you like that you think works really good in any of these situations, drop in the comments. I'll talk to you all soon.